Hello viewers, this is the second part of the video for the song Engi Rindo Ilan Kuilin from Brahma. In this video, we are going to see the chords, the scale and the strumming pattern. If you want to know the first part of the video, please see the link in the description below. You can also see the chords in the description of this video in both original version and the transposed version. Raja's composition in the song is absolutely astonishing. Especially the prelude where it starts with piano and the first BGM and the second BGM and the bass used in this song is simply mind-blowing and goes without saying SPB sir singing in this song is absolutely fantastic. The scale of this song is originally in C minor. So in order to make the play a little easier, we are going to transpose it to A minor scale. So please put the capo on the third fret. So let us see the list of chords and the strumming pattern in this video. So the strumming pattern that I have used are in two types, one for Charanam and for Pallavi. So the Pallavi I have used this way. It is down, down up, down up, down, down up, down up. It loops through it for Pallavi. Slowly. Super slow. actual tempo of the song then for charanam it is down down up so straightforward so it goes with the song like this Let us now see the list of chords starting with Pallavi throughout the entire song. The first chord is A minor. The next chord is G major or this way. The next chord is C major 7th. So hold C major and remove the first finger. So it's only two fingers. That is C major 7th chord only with these two fingers. The next chord is D minor. The next is C major. The next chord is E7. So please hold E major and remove the ring finger. That is E7. So here and here. Only two fingers. E7. The next chord is E major. So these are the list of chords used in the song. So let us now see the complete set of chords starting with Pallavi. It's A minor. Fully A minor. Only in Neram you change to G major. So let us see those three lines with the strumming pattern. Tati Viten is C major 7th. Tati Viten. Manakadavai is D minor. Manakadavai repeats. Virandu Paka Virandu Va. Ninjam is A minor. Ninjam. Undan Ninjam. So Ninjam and Undan is A minor. In that Ninjam, you change to D minor. So let us see that line. Ninjam. Undan Ninjam. So it goes A minor and D minor. The last line, Konda Sanjal Angal. So Konda is D minor, Sanjal Angal is G major, Marai is still G major. In Maraya, that Ya, you change to C major. And after that, finish that Ya, it's C major, you change to immediately E7. With a small gap, there you play the E7 chord. So let us see those two lines from Ninjam. So with the strumming pattern. Ninjam, Undan, 
That is the end of Pallavi. Let us now go to Charanam chords. So the Charanam is starts with starts with A minor. Pin node we change to G major. Pin node yennaalum is C major. Yennaalum in down we changed from C major to A minor. So yennaalum da. So let us see those first two lines. Repeat for the next line as well. Palaipola is G major. In Venmayana is C major. Venmayana, the you change to G major. So Venmayana. The next line is same. Sorry, the Palaipola is G major with the summing pattern. Parugidadu is E major. Parugidadu, Velugidadu, E major. Nummayana, C major. Du is G major again. So let us see those two lines with the stumming pattern. C major. Niyum kana kudum is kudum ingu is D minor. Kudum ingu or dinam is A minor. Or dinam repeats for next line as well A minor again. In the palmanam. So let us see the stumming pattern one last time from palay pola. That is the end of Charanam Chords. I hope you got it. Have fun. Take care. Bye.